Are you sure you want to do this? No, but we have to. I can't believe it. If I put someone in the hospital again... It's not your fault. Yeah? So that's Matthew Buchanan. Dex, are you pregnant? Uh, Matthew, I'm... Glad. No, of course she's not. Matthew! Mm. Come on, you don't think that Todd had anything to do with Tomas disappearing, do you? I mean, Mom, you're the one who said Todd's upset. But the honey, that's perfectly natural. He has a very long history with Blair, and... He wanted her back, but she started seeing Tomas. Now Tomas suddenly is missing. But to say that Todd is responsible, that is a, quite a stretch. Is it? Is that... Nine millimeter. Some kind of gun used to kill Victor. So what are you saying? That my brother killed my husband? What if Tomas found Victor's killer? I promise you that that's not true. How? What do you know? You just all but promised me that Tomas isn't dead. Blair, the guy's a professional assassin. You know, who's going to get the drop on Tomas? Not even the guy who killed Victor. Well, then why did he disappear on Thanksgiving? Well, I don't know. Have you learned to cook in the last eight years? And turkey, let me tell you something. It's, it's often dry and, and tasteless. I mean, not everybody likes it as much as you. Okay, you know what? This isn't about me. Well, it kind of is all about you, right? Because Tomas went to find Victor's killer so that you could be home and you could relax. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of all no, about he you. would have called me. Not necessarily. I mean, that, that, that's contact with a civilian, which I'm, I'm pretty sure violates a fundamental law, like, like rule number one of the 007 handbook. Oh, okay, I guess you're right about that. Oh, I'm always right. Mm. You're being really, really supportive. Why? Maybe it's not such a stretch, Mom. I mean, you said so yourself. Todd has a history with Blair, and we both know that he would do anything to get her back. Such as what? Killing Tomas? Is that what you're implying? I didn't say that. Even though we both know that he's capable of it, I mean, he did kill Irene, his own mother. Uh, that was self-defense, and he thought that she had murdered his whole family. Well, that sounds like revenge. Honey, come on, this was all sorted out and decided in court. Okay, well, whatever the motive, he shot her, and let's not forget, we still haven't found out who Victor's killer is. So I'm just making an observation. Look, the fact that that gun is the same caliber as the weapon used to kill Victor... Don't make too much out of it. The world is full of nine millimeters. So we get it tested, we'll know more. Of course. But if I might offer a theory? Of course. Tomas was looking for the killer. Maybe he found the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. Found it, and he put it in a manila envelope, and he taped it to the back of... One of his drawers. Why would he do that? I don't know, detective. Maybe, maybe to keep it safe. From what? And where is he? Mom, are you sure? I mean, she looks... Matthew. Destiny, you just kind of put on a couple of pounds, you know? Excuse me? I mean, me? we all have. <laughs> just, uh, you know, sitting in vigil at your bedside for six months, you know, just nervous eating. Wow, uh, Destin, I'm really sorry. It's fine, you didn't say anything wrong. So, how are we doing? Uh, why don't we let Matthew and the doctor have some privacy? Okay, 
You did not just call me fat. This is totally different than what happened with Matthew Buchanan. Man, that was an accident. Yeah, and if anyone's to blame, it's me. No. No, this is all on me. Everybody was cool until I freaked you out. You thought everyone was cool? Are you kidding? It doesn't matter. The point is, is that we need to do damage control. Agreed. Right, you guys? We're here, aren't we? We're probably worrying about nothing. I mean, you know how Rick is. He gets a hangnail and he writes a press, press release. release. 